Well, this is Paul Hafner, Application Equipment Product Specialist, and we are going to go through your day-to-day -day operational settings in the new leader ISO control. So the first thing, once we've decided what spread width that we're going to be applying at, we can change that on the terminal here. Select in the box. We have our total spread width. So I select in there, and the calculator comes up. Enter in the spread width I want. I can go back to the run screen. And I see there it came back up to 70 feet. So now the guidance on this machine is being done through the Raven Viper 4. And so I'm going to go back to the Raven screen and verify my guidance width. On the Viper 4, I touch the gears. Then I'll select the machine. You can see the screen move there, so I'm going to swipe this back over to the right. And there I have my guidance width. So when I change my spread width on the new leader terminal, you'll see that it'll change on the Viper 4 terminal as well. Next, we'll touch on the new leader bin on the screen. This pops up, gives us some information on our feed gate, our feed gate optimizer. We have our spinner settings as well as our totals. So, the first thing that you want to do is we'll see here it says we have a two inch gate opening for the main bin. That would need to be verified to make sure that your gate is actually what you say it is here on the controller. And we also have a feed gate optimizer. So if we go into there, here I can enter in what my average speed in the field is. So let's say I'm going to be applying at 18 miles an hour. My target rate for my main bin, which as you can see is the one that is highlighted and the one I'm working in right now. 400 pounds. Density, let's leave it at 68. And you can come down here, the bottom part of the screen, you'll see that the feed gate should be at 2.25 or 2 and a quarter inches. And that will give me a minimum rate of 46 pounds to an average of 770 pounds. So I have a wide range that I can run with that gate setting. Now, if you want to have these numbers go over to your run screen, simply hit the check mark and it'll make those changes but then you would have to go and make sure that you change your gate height to now match the gate height that the optimizer is saying if you don't need to make any changes or don't want them to carry through then you just go ahead and simply hit the X button up on the very top of the screen it says main bin I can switch this to the insert bin here as well and forth, but you generally have the option in the other tabs and other items as well to move from one bin to the next. Over here we have a bin empty, a custom fill button, and a fill to the top. So this one has a top capacity of 14,212 pounds, and so I filled it all the way up. And if, say, you were doing a partial load, I can come in here, enter a number, check and it will show me the bin level for the amount that I put in. Also we have our bin alarms so we can set in there at how many pounds do we want that alarm to go off at and then you can also set up your delay between the alarms themselves. The next tab over is our spinners. So here we have the check mark to enable the spinner circuit. We can put in our desired spinner speed. So depending on the spread width and what we have pan tested for, we can set that number in there. And then we also have the settings for our boundary spread. Then we have our totals. So I have two columns here, one for current, one for season. 
the top you see the tabs between the main bin and the insert bins. And so this is where you can read your totals out and then you can reset them for either the current or the season. And then at any time, you can go back to your run screen and it brings you back to your home. So here we're going to set the density. So we're going to select which we're in the bin that we want. So I'm in bin one, the main bin. I'm going to go in there. And we'll put our density number in. Check mark to accept it. Then we go to the product that we have in our second bin. Go ahead. Put our density in there. So we have our density set for our front and our rear bin. Right here, which is number one, that is the rate for bin one, and then also for then for bin two. You see, it's got a target next to it. Um, so, with this setup, we set the rate in the Raven itself. And so, once we start a job, you will see that target in that one will change to a TC. So, it means that it's getting its rate from the task controller or from the Raven. So we'll go ahead and we'll start that job now, and then we'll see how that changes the screen. So here, now that the job is started, you see we have TC in that screen. My rate changed because I entered a different rate when I started the job. So now I have 400 pounds on my front bin, 200 set on the rear bin. So we see our TC is on both of them. And then right below it is going to be where our actual rate will come in. And so we'll be able to go there then and see what is actually coming off the bins. With the rate being controlled on the Raven itself, the rate bump needs to be done up on the Raven as well. Only be changing anything to do with rate on the Raven, not on the new meter ISO screen.